It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Morgan Wallen and, well, truthfully, Post Malone as well, but uh, it's really about Morgan where he is for the first time ever number one on the pop chart uh, and number one on the country chart. Wow, congratulations. That is an unusual feat. Um, Taylor Swift uh, did that yes. back in the day. Uh, love story at one point. But uh, yeah, and it's the Morgan Wallen Post Malone song, I Had Some Help. So it's officially Post Malone's song, but, you know, Morgan's on it. And congrats. He's he's crushing it right now. You yep. can't deny Post that. Post Malone, look out. Uh, and by the way, we have a Post Malone contest. Uh, you could check out our social media or just head to licountry.com and sign up, enter to win those Jones Beach tickets from us. Sounds good. Uh, the women's gymnastics won gold yesterday. Did you see yes. any of it? And Simone's husband was there. Thank you. He was. Bears. Yeah. Yep. They let him go uh, they from let training him go. camp. Yep. Yes, they did. Uh, so that was a big moment. Uh, Simone Biles, uh, just, you know, her legacy continues. and Unbelievable. The other girls, great as well. Incredible. Of course. Absolutely. A gold team for sure. Uh, and did you see the triathlon postponed due to uh, poison, not poisoning, you know, um, pollution in the yeah. river? I read about that. Yeah. So when is that going to happen? What, are they going to suck the pollution out? I mean, what? It's a great question. I'm not. I'm not sure how that all goes down. Um, and by the way, side note on the Olympics, I did see that the surfing competition is taking place in Tahiti, and oh. their Olympic village is actually a cruise ship, from what I was told. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, so they're they're uh, making fun of the other athletes who have a regular Olympic village while they're oh, on a cruise no, no, ship. No, 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 we're on a cruise <laughs> ship. Thank you. That's we right. We can get out of here anytime we want. Uh, word is Robert Downey Jr. will be paid $100 million to play Dr. Doom in that upcoming film. That sure is a whole lot of money. You know what, though? Considering it's going to make billions, he probably deserves more, if I'm being honest, Candy. Mm, mm. You know, he's... You uh, know, I was reading a thing about uh, Michael Jackson's thriller. And when they yeah. asked Vincent Price to do the voice, he um, was offered a deal of 20000 up front or a piece of whatever the record makes. Mm. He took the 20000 Oh, bad move, my bad friend. Bad move. Bad move. And since we're talking about, uh, you know, things like that, uh, there's a very famous story about uh, Michael Jackson's song, Beat It, where he asked Eddie Van Halen to do the solo, as you know. Yes. And Eddie... Didn't get paid, didn't want to get paid. He went over to the studio. He literally got a phone call, went over to the studio. It took him 20 minutes. He just kind of banged out that solo, packed up his guitar, and went home. That was it. Unbelievable. And what yeah. it, oh, just love it. Incredible. Um, the Kelsey brothers working on a $100 million deal themselves to get their uh, podcast onto Amazon. Oh, okay. Yeah. I enjoy their podcast, I gotta tell you. Yeah, they're good. Um, and uh, Jason Kelsey all over Paris with the Olympics, you see. I love his beret. It looks yeah. so adorable. <laughs> uh, word is John Mulaney and Jimmy Kimmel both have turned down uh, offer to host next year's Oscars. There's rumblings. They might ask you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they can't find anybody. That's true. <laughs> Oh my uh, God! They're down to the to the bottom of the barrel. I hey, see. I wouldn't say the bottom of the barrel, but yeah, mm. they can't find anybody. Uh, the twenty-year-old son of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, Pax, uh, was on an electric bike with no helmet and got injured pretty badly. Candy. Well, when you fall off a bike with no helmet, usually your head gets injured. That's exactly what happened, and we I wish him a speedy recovery. Yeah, we saw what happened to Simon Cowell. Not good, yes. those, those bikes, no. those electric no. bikes. No, and he's had a few pileups. Not good at all. Uh, Quinta Brunson from Abbott Elementary says there is a crossover episode next season that, quote, will change TV as we know it. Oh, as we know it. We thought so, we knew it all. All I got to say is it better be good because that is some statement. That is a mouthful for sure. And speaking of a mouthful, good setup. Eliz and you didn't even realize. Um, no. Elizabeth Banks 
was choking in her trailer on the set of a movie recently. She walked out of the trailer, like flagged someone down. They saw she was choking, gave her the Heimlich, and uh, it popped out, saved that her life. It's scary. Man. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, TV uh, Olympics coverage, of course, and Netflix with the fourth season premiere of Unsolved Mysteries today. And there you have it, your bald and the beautiful entertainment, everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Uh, we should, well, we, we have a warming trend for sure. We're getting warmer as the days go. We're going to be uh, mid-80s, maybe a touch warmer, could have some rain uh, on and off, and then like this mini heat wave coming in uh, Thursday, Friday, like could be up to the 90s, Candy, as we oh, go. Yes. Yeah. All right, there's your bald and the beautiful. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.